Hey guys, my name's Nick and this is going to be part 4 of my playthrough of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I'm sorry it took so long between part 3 and part 4, but there's a good reason for it. I'm actually now playing uh, using one of my old GameCube controllers. So I ordered a controller adapter and it just came and I've got to say it's amazing compared to using a mouse and keyboard. So if you can get your hands on one, they definitely... They're definitely worth the money, and also, on top of that, I have some interesting information for other people who are using Dolphin. If you are using an AMD graphics card, and you happen to be using the 12.4 uh, Catalyst drivers, I believe, I was getting heaps of crashes using them, and by rolling back to 12.1, uh, it seems to have fixed everything, and that includes in other games as well, so yeah, definitely recommend it if you're having problems. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, let's get on with the video. Uh, so I've got another hiding barrel. Can't get out, obviously. Yeah, so I managed to land myself clumsily in prison. In the last, um... Last video. Let's jump up here. Ah, here we go. I think I heard a rupee. Ah, I can't be bothered to jump down and get it. <laughs> okay, so let's crawl around through here. Ah, it feels so good to be using a GameCube controller again. I haven't held one of these things in a long time. Okay. Ah, I remember this place. Okay, this is where the um the dungeon map was. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so I went I went around one a different way before, and I think I'm gonna try going around the other way because the whole thing seems to be a big circle around the outside. If you can see on the mini map down there, so I'm thinking maybe if I go the other way. Uh, there seem to be two doors in that entrance to that place where I got caught by the pigmen. So I'm going to try going the other way and see if there's anything extra around here. Okay. Another jump. Oh, I'm going to... Ugh, shit. Um. Oh, I didn't fall all the way down. I should be able to jump back up. Cool. made it that time. Good. <laughs> I say that it's easier with a normal GameCube controller, but I'm making more mistakes. Okay. So. Box. Ah, okay. Yep, I remember this place now. back here. Okay, I am completely confused as to where I was before. <laughs> I thought I knew where I was, but obviously I didn't. But here I am, back at the place where I screwed up before, so that's lucky, I guess. And I will try not to screw up again, because that will make for a very boring video if it's just me attempting to sneak past these pig guys over and over again. So... Oh god, this game is too stressful. I quit after this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, one thing that it's much, much easier to do is um, using the C stick. Having to have two separate places on the keyboard for the control stick and the C stick was just a nightmare when I was trying to do it before. Ah, oh, what the hell? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Uh, okay, so the rats can now knock you out of the barrel as well. That's another another variable on top there. Okay, how fast can I get back to where I was before? Okay. I have no time for one repeat drops. <laughs> How terrifying would it actually be to crawl through a hole that small in real life? Like, it would be completely dark in there, you wouldn't know where you were going. Okay, let's... Ah, oh, yes, okay. Not... Didn't miss embarrassingly. Oh, yeah. So... The way that I went before, I seem to have got confused. So this, this is the opposite way to the way that I went before. So this should be new and exciting going this direction. Huh. I swear that I picked up the compass before, but it must have reloaded my save. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's push on, despite all the weirdness that's happening right now. <laughs> First jump made it, yes. Okay. Cool. <sighs> so, what are we looking at out here? Okay, so this, this does actually seem to be a way that I haven't gone before. Okay. Well, I guess it's just... That was close. Uh, this game is way too nice to me. I should have... <laughs> I should have fallen through those things so many times. Whoa, okay. Never been here before. Uh, what are we looking at? So I seem to be on the other side of that room. What's this box here? Oh, it looks like... Okay, so I should be able to push this box down to the bottom. Oh, wow, okay. I don't know if any of you have played Ocarina of Time, but they have this really annoying system for, for grabbing and dragging boxes where the grab and climb key uh, button is the same, but it depends on whether you're pressing forward or not. Whereas in this game, there's actually a different dedicated button for climb and grab, so you never... You don't have to keep screwing it up over and over again. So, what's through this door? Ah, as I thought, this is the, Okay, this is the other side of that room with the pig guys. So... Hopefully this should be much, much easier to sneak past because the stairs are actually facing... I swear to God though, that rat... If he knocks me out of the thing again... Yeah, I should be able to just walk straight up. Uh, much, much easier. Okay, I don't know if they designed it so you're meant to go this way. But, yeah, it definitely made a big difference. Okay. New territory. What have we got here? Um, yeah, I want to be able to look up the stairs. Sneaky. Oh, there's a guy over there. Um, am I supposed to sneak past this guy? He's out in the open. What the hell? <sighs> I really hope I'm going to be able to kill these pig guys once I get my sword back because I'm I'm going to have to turn off the turn off the camera and go on a rampage. <laughs> Look at how stupid their little legs as well. It's like a something from a Disney movie. There's tiny little legs and a huge upper body. Can I sneak past this guy? Yep. Okay. Is he gonna walk back up here? I wonder if I can jump into this window. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. So... What have we got here? Hmm. 
big hole. It looks like there's a searchlight down there. I'm actually gonna go down this ladder and see if there's any any secret stuff. Um, okay, so if we push the uh, I say that it's good that they have different controls, but I'm so used to the other one. Okay, I should be able to jump back up. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, learning, learning. Okay. So, should be able to get back up there. If we keep going. Is that a. It's, it's okay. Okay. You told me this twice already. <laughs> Deflect the monster's blows, make a drop of the stick. Or I could get up there and just get in the guy's grill and throw that... Throw something in his face. Hopefully there's going to be another jug of sticks up there. Uh, yes, here we go. Okay. Jug of sticks. Ah! Yeah, eat that. Ah! <laughs> uh, well, I got that guy. So now, are all the searchlights disabled? No. It's still there. Okay. Yeah. So. When my, um, when I reloaded in the prison, I must have forgotten to save. Okay, so. Back up this ladder, and then across that little ledge there, where there's hearts. Because I'm missing one quarter right now. I really, I, I haven't experienced it yet, but I really hope that in this game... There isn't the same thing as the other Zelda games, where as soon as you get to like one heart or less, it just goes did it, did it, did it, did it, really loud and right in your ears until you <laughs> until you find another heart. Like, oh crap! Maybe I have to actually disable that other. Si or I could just accidentally jump all the way down. <sighs> it's n day is not going well for me. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna disable that searchlight because I'm going to assume that I jumped down there on purpose because I knew that I couldn't get up there with the searchlight. But everybody knows that I actually just did that completely by accident. Okay, so it's not that one. How do I get up there? Looks like I have to go back. Maybe through here. Maybe on the other side or something. That's back to the prison. So what's through here? Where are we going? Okay. Ah, yeah, I remember this one. Okay, so, yeah, I've, since I've fixed that crashing problem after today, the synchronization machine between the videos should be fixed. Ah, okay. Give me that jug. I can jug this guy good. He needs a sword where I can just carry a jug of sticks around everywhere. And I am definitely going to be like a, the silent jug assassin. I'm going to get this guy. Sneak around and then... Wapow! Yeah! He did not see what was coming to him. Now I'm gonna beat his ass with a stick. Ow! Just miss. I really suck at this game. <laughs> yes, full hearts. Okay, feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling pumped. Um, so, I need to get back up over there. Which... Uh... Oh, yeah, because I pushed the block down, I should be able to... 
uh, use the block to get up to that room behind, which made it easier to get past the pit man in the first place. So I'm going to start rolling around to go more quickly. Rolling my way to victory, as usual. Climb. Yes. Getting the keys right. I'm doing it. Everything's coming up Millhouse. All right. Okay, so here we go. Um, do, 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 going into the room. <sighs> okay, I got it this time. We got this. We're gonna. It's gonna be some what's the time, Mr. Wolf kind of situation. And I, oh, that little rat. I'm gonna kill him as well. I'm gonna come back and. No one's going to be able to stop me. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be some serious, serious bacon and whatever you call rat meat. <laughs> oh, I didn't think that one through. Okay. Yes. Made it through. First try. Feeling good. Don't know how Link can push that giant door with his scrawny little kid muscles. How old is Link supposed to be in these? Anyway, like... Like, 12? 16? 40? Is he like, does he have that disease where you look young even though, you know, you're age 80 or whatever, you never grow? I don't know if that's a disease or I just combined two diseases together in my mind, but anyway. He's doing better than that big pig guy, let's be honest here. I don't know if there have been any other games that have done cell shading as successfully as this game. I just feel like they, they just did it so well, like, especially for the time, even though, uh, my, oh god, he's turning around. Uh, even though my view is definitely a bit biased because I'm viewing this, uh, as a really high quality 1080p upscale instead of the original, which I'm sure... All credit to Nintendo and their amazing work at the time. It probably didn't look as great as this on the GameCube. Uh, I can't remember because I played it so long ago. But. Okay, so we're going to sidle. Link looks so sneaky. Look at him. He's like, I'm going to make it. He suddenly turns into Snake. Or, uh... What's his name from Deus Ex? just need some silence pistols. That's what Link needs in this game. Screw swords. Silence pistols. That's where it's at. Silence pistols, mines, bombs. Uh, you need all of that. All of that good stuff. When's there going to be a, a robotic Link game? Link in the future. Space Link. Okay. So. That was relatively easy. Hmm. I'm just going to quickly save the game in case something catastrophically terrible happens. Um, so, there's the sword and I'm assuming I'm going to have to fight this guy. Ah, it's, it's just hovering there. <laughs> oh shit. Ah yeah, now I'm in business. Oh yeah, eat that. That guy got... Thoroughly and comprehensively... Romped. <laughs> ah, one rupee for my troubles and a giant sword that I can pick up. Oh my god, this is amazing. But it doesn't look like I can go back past these spikes. No, no, no. Get back, yes. Okay, here we go. Ah, what?! This game. So, here we go. Cinematic time. Yeah, Link doing the Clint Eastwood squint there. <gasps> there she is. Although, didn't the postman say that it's, he was capturing blonde girls with long ears and there was just that redhead in there? Uh... Okay, this looks like it's going to be a big boss fight. Uh, 
or Link just gets completely owned. Wow. Come on, man. You can do better than that. Ugh, where are we going now? Up to the birds. Here he is. The big evil dude himself. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Link. Always getting thrown huge distances. Somehow still surviving. Ah. <sighs> Looks like he's gonna get picked up. Lucky. Nick. Nick. It was all a dream. It's gonna s slap me across the face. Little red boat. Who is it? <laughs> I can't tell whether this guy has big teeth or an amazing moustache. That's a pretty big claim. No other boats can speak the word to me. Do not fear. Okay. I'll try not to fear. Yes, Mr. Boat. Well, that's kind of creepy. I've been watching you. Well, yeah, you tell me now. Shadow. Of course it's Ganon, back from the dead again, after thousands of years, still getting his ass handed to him by a little kid. Do anything for a Klondike bar. I see! <laughs> I had not planned for this. I was going to advise you to quit while you're ahead. Okay. Um. Well, that's very nice of you. <laughs> hey, man! <laughs> Little strength you possess. Okay, cool. Only after much toil and hardship. I hate how they don't give you the opportunity to just say no. Look, I quit. I'm going back to be a peasant. Forget the sister. Forget the whole thing. We'll just pretend it never happened. Ah, <laughs> uh, He's self-conscious. All the other boats have bigger sails than him. Wait, how did he go out into the ocean and rescue me without a sail? Oh well. So, we're in a town, merchant town, with a windmill that, although the flags are blowing, the windmill isn't turning, and that seagull is also frozen in midair. Okay. Yes, I will find one who will sell me a sail. Well, here we go. Operation find a sale. I'm gonna sidle my way to victory. Okay. Many valuable goods. Do not feel limited to that. Hmm. Anything you say. Ah, oh, but I wanted to play. I'm sure that there's some kind of 
bomb shoe bowling alley or something in this game that I can go into. Yes, as soon as the errands are done, I will come back here. Alright. Well, this seems like an appropriate place to end part 4, so hopefully with my new setup, I will be able to record part 5 really soon. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, have a good one. See you guys.